when we finally get to tell the story of our midfielders, those that played for our great clubs and our national team, them that made it their business to entertain us in the pitches, them that made it their duty to follow the ball around as we cheered them on, we must spare some space in the Hall of Fame for one Nicolas Muyoti. A player so good that if we denied him a place in the Hall of Fame, where we have chosen to hang the jersey of the greatest to ever grace our pitches, we will be doing him a great injustice. For his exploits on the pitch, Muyoti deserves a tale in our stories so that we can preserve him at the greatest place in our history. Nicolas Muyoti began his top-tier career at AFC Leopards and ended his pitch career at the same club. This is the story of Nicolas Muyoti. When the sun shone upon the earth in 1976, it is not the only thing that comes alive and afresh in the capital city of Nairobi. A bubbly baby boy had since arrived in the wake of that morning. Nicolas Muyoti had blessed the world with his presence. My parents uh, lived, work, lived and worked in Nairobi. And uh, I grew up at a place called uh, Madaraka Estate. I think uh, at the time, uh, Miki Weche was uh, one of our senior players there. So we, we had a tournament called Weche Cup. And I think uh, that's about the time I started getting interested in football. Muyoti attended his primary school at Our Lady of Mercy Primary before moving to Mumias Boys Primary School where he sat for his KCPE examination. Thereafter, he proceeded to St. Paul's Amukura High School in Busia County, soccer giants by then, and finally ended up at Upper Hill High School, a powerful soccer house in Nairobi and a school that had produced some of Kenya's great. I moved to Amukura High School. So at Amukura, I thought I would find maybe gymnastics there, but it wasn't there. So I just decided to concentrate on football. So that's when I started uh, playing again and uh, it was interesting and those times I think um, we had uh, player poaching, a lot of player poaching so it was not easy for us to get an opportunity to play your training and then during the the matches you see some other faces, guys are coming in, you know so it was, it was really challenging but uh, also learning for us because when I got to Form 2, that's when I started uh, getting a chance to play in the first team. And at the time, I'd grown, I'd trained well, and uh, yeah, I started really playing serious football. Mm, apparently, I didn't stay there for long. I went there for Form 1 and 2, and uh, I got very sick. I think it was a time when uh, I think the weather, the weather was not good for me, so I had to relocate to Nairobi. So in Nairobi, I went to Upper Hill School. Muyoti's football career kicks off at Upper Hill School, where he featured for Kenyatta Hospital in the Super 2 League. At Upper Hill, he was in the company of Bonventure Maruti. He did his trials at AFC Leopards and was to join the den after school, but the latter took a back seat since he felt he was not ready for the competition that awaited him at AFC. From 1996 through 1997, he featured for Kenyatta Hospital before finally moving to AFC Leopards. Here he met the likes of Fred Ambani and Agripa Anyanje, who highly motivated him. Nicolas Muyoti was at the den for five years. They won the league in 1998, the last time AFC Leopards won the top tier league, and he also won the Moy Golden Cup with the Leopards. Basically, my dreams uh, as a small boy wanting to play football, were coming to reality because I really wanted to play and uh, that that time uh, when I was young my dad used to take me to watch FC Leopard matches and then uh, slowly I started getting the interest and uh, even when he wasn't around I just go by myself I just 
got somebody older than me hold his hand and was in the stadium. I started getting an opportunity to play when Fleming Jacobsen came in as a coach at FC Leopards. And uh, for, for, for him, I think I was one of the best uh, centre-backs or defensive midfielders. Because it didn't matter to him whether I was sick, whether I got an injury. He just wanted me on that pitch. My journey at Leopards uh, has been quite challenging. And uh, until I rose to be the captain of the team, it was a big challenge. Because uh, at the time I came in, the club was financially stable. But uh, things turned later on, and uh, it was very difficult. And most of the good players um, went away especially after we won the league in 98 and uh, it was sad that after winning the league okay the club had got some money and uh, we thought we'd get uh, just uh, some some allowances uh, yeah appreciation but it didn't happen and uh, instead this money was used to sign other players at the time we were preparing to go for eastern central in uganda so the team was split into two groups those ones that are coming in, they've been paid down payment, their salaries are good, and those ones that have been there for the team when the team won the league. So there was a big split. We went to Eastern Central, apparently we didn't do well, and uh, it followed up into the season. We didn't have a very good season, and like I said, most of the players started coming out, went out of the team. We had uh, the late Chahonyo as the chairman, and uh, I think also he was uh, was tired of the politics in the team and stuff. So he just he just stayed away from the team. In 2002, he was suspended from the club, and thereafter he moved to Uganda, where he was to feature for Horizon FC. But this move was cut short by his club, who refused to release him. AFC Leopards was later to release him, and then he moved home to Thika United. He was here for two seasons. Basically, I moved because at the time we were supposed to start the league and uh, we'd ask the management because we'd gone for over six months without payment. We'd ask the management to, to try and pay some of the, of the monies they owed us and uh, they they said they were going to do it before we go for the match. We were going to play Shabana. They gave each of the traveling players 5,000 shillings. So I asked the chairman at that time, it was uh, the late Angote. What about the rest who are remaining? Yes, we are going. The rest have their families and stuff. So he told me, no, we couldn't get, uh, we couldn't get other monies. This is what we have. So we decided as a team, we share this money and we were not going for that game. Yeah, we just, we shared the money amongst us and then we said we're not going, everybody went home. After this I got a suspension. So there was this FC Leopard fan who was, uh, I think he, he was one of the managers at the bus called Maningo. And, uh, he told us, you guys, you can go to Kampala and uh, play their football. They, they made sure we were eating well, we were training well, and uh, yeah, it was really fun, but we couldn't uh, sign there because he was suspended here in Kenya. But now, at that time, Weche had moved to Tika United, and uh, when they had that had come up from Leopards, immediately they called me to Tika. And apparently I found that uh, they, had really, they were really looking for me, they wanted to sign me. So that's when I moved to Tika United and uh, yeah, this was my second team in the top flight. Uh, we had a great time at times, at that time it was called Tika Mediska. It was, I had a great time at that place, the fans were very good, the players very welcoming. And uh, yeah, we did, we did well until I got an opportunity to go to Singapore. 